I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. We are looking at a relatively active weather pattern over the next 12 hours or so, and then things will start to calm down for us. We have a weather disturbance over the boot heel that's going to lift through the west, it looks like, tonight. So that could add to the storm profile for us. But then we drag in drier air tomorrow, especially across the north, most of the storms, rather, south of I-40. And then as we head into Wednesday, we could see another uptick with more scattered storms across the state. Albuquerque police are searching for a man who's been spying on women in restrooms. They know exactly who they're looking for, a man named David Bloodworth, who has a history of arrest for voyeurism in New Mexico and elsewhere. Bloodworth is a suspect in three peeping incidents in the past week. Investigators believe this man, seen on surveillance video at the Target store on Paseo del Norte, is Bloodworth. Police say he went into the women's bathroom twice, but when questioned by employees, he claimed that he was looking for his wife. Police were able to get Bloodworth's license plate number and ID him, but then when they went to the house that it was registered under, the people who were there said that Bloodworth no longer lived there. The murder victim, who was known only as Boots for nearly a decade, is getting justice finally. Jury selection began today at the trial of her accused killer. Police say Wesley Williams had been dating Sandra Brady when Brady disappeared in 2000. Later that year, hikers spotted her cowboy boots sticking out of a shallow grave on the West Mesa. But nobody knew who Boots was until last year, when America's Most Wanted featured the case and Brady's daughter made the ID. Police say they have evidence that puts Williams at the makeshift gravesite. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.